Ooh, welcome man, welcome back to the channel guys real quick. How's everybody doing man? I figure I'd jump on online. Well I'm not live, so I figure I'd fire the camera up. Uh every now and then y'all know I like the chick chat. Did y'all hear that? That's that Hellcat over there, guys. Uh I'm not obligated to let y'all take a peek at that, so I won't do it. But uh I don't know what he doing over there. But I'm gonna be nosy and go over there and see. Well, anyway, guys, just as the name applied, uh, just as the name suggests, yes, I quit. But, and don't get me wrong, it's not no type clickbait or anything. I did quit. I quit a certain job that I had. I quit one of my side hustles. As you all know, I have maybe 10 hustles now. Uh, I actually lost count, so I'm not sure how many I'm up to now. I consider anything that I do that will earn me some form of revenue i consider that a hustle i call that a hustle uh a side hustle side gig uh everybody got different names for it but for me uh it's a job at the end of the day because you're trying to create some form of revenue stream from it so at the end of the day yes uh it is somewhat of a job and yes i decided to quit okay let it go i'm done with it i personally don't have time uh and personally it requires a lot of my time now here's what i'm referring to here's what i'm talking about um how many of you guys ever heard of a company uh online based company out of uh san francisco uh california uh called just answers okay yes just answer i was an employee i guess you want to say i worked for just answers okay i went through the whole application i guess you call it that uh went through the whole screening thing i actually had to take a test uh of course first of all just answer uh they into more than just automotive okay they have legal expert they have uh teaching expert medical things like that man and to me man you gotta be careful with offering such a service because you can get into uh lawsuit territory doing that type of stuff okay but me I was in the automotive department okay I signed up yes I had to fill out a semi application I had to prove my credentials I had to give them a copy of my master ASC certification uh, of course I chose to be in the Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram category so <laughs> they compiled this little small idiot test I guess you would call it I had to take it basic questions pertaining to only Chrysler Jeep Dodge now in their eyes if you pass this test uh you very familiar with chrysler jeep dodge or ram so uh, naturally i aced it because i consider myself very knowledgeable on that brand of vehicle okay now uh the reason i had to quit or let it go number one uh like i said earlier it took a lot of my time okay now y'all know how it work you log in you got a question you fill out the category that your question belong in. Just say you got a Chrysler minivan. You type in all this information and then you ask the question. I guess just answers algorithm would send this question out to all the text that's in this category. I was one of them. So the quickest tech on the draw, I guess we'll take the question and uh, attempt to answer it. Uh, now I had no problem with any question, but guys, I don't know how many of you try to fix cars over the phone. Basically, that's what we're doing over the phone, online, whatever you want to call it. Okay, it is extremely hard because here's the thing, guys: you can't, you're never gonna please everybody, and people want answers that you can only get from a shop. They ask you things that you have to physically be there to see and answer. Okay, there's no way you can answer some of this stuff. So what ha what happens a lot is they'll flag you for not being good, uh, unprofessionalism. And by the way, the preliminary test that I had to take just answers. They, it's pretty sophisticated, man. They make sure you can <laughs> complete a, a write a complete sentence. They make sure your spelling is on point. They make sure I guess they protecting their image. I can understand that. All right, I can very well understand that. So I had to answer. They send me dummy questions and some kind sometimes agents will 
fake customers will log in and send me a question directly to me. It's not one of those who can log on the quickest and answer. And I can tell a fake customer. So I think what they was looking for to see how professional my answer would be. And if it's a complete sentence and if the words are spelled correctly. So I get that. I have no problem with that. Okay, you have to protect your image. You can't be a smart mechanic, but uh, not so smart, uh, you know, with your grammar, with your spelling. I struggle with that daily, guys. Okay, I'm not your A1 class A student. But uh, now I got flagged a lot for unprofessionalism or simply not completing the job fixing the car again guys customers want demand results and that results is whatever it is that I told them will fix their car because keep in mind they're being charged okay now the payment that the customer make I guess just answer would take a cut and send the mechanic a cut okay quite frankly I wasn't even there long enough to even get a check Although I went through about 10, I, I, I went through the whole rigmarole, I did what I was supposed to do, I couldn't handle it guys, um, I couldn't handle it, I, you can't fix a car over the phone, and when you're charging a customer something, like I say, they demand answers and it just wouldn't work out, so I had to let it go, but in the process of letting it go, I put all my resources to my own channel, okay, my own YouTube channel, it's called Online Mechanic Tips okay I have put all my stock all my resources to answering my subscribers question okay did y'all hear that part subscribers question I have no problem answering my subscribers question okay so uh, yes subscribers is a big deal okay uh, for one the saying or the thinking goes the higher that number uh, the more sponsors you may can get and uh I have no problem answering any question that especially I know the answer to. Okay, now, how quickly I get to it could be a different story. But, guys, I don't want to bore y'all talking. I just wanted to uh, put that out there. I now have some free time to focus on my YouTube channel, Online Mechanic Tips. If you have a specific car question, uh, I'm not going to just center around Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram because a car is a car is a car. If I don't know the answer, I will likely hunt it down for you. I have plenty of YouTube buddies online that can get me an answer or I can direct you to them. In other words, we're a family here. So I put all my resources to my YouTube channel. So guys, now I can focus on answering all the questions or comment. They're not even all questions. Some people just like to chat. I have no problem with that. Because some of the guys that comment on the videos are mechanics. So they're not really looking for answers just automotive chat automotive talk that's why I host a live video twice a week okay I go live stream Sundays at 8 and Thursdays at 8 so if you're not doing nothing in, in on those nights log on join in man let's chop it up man we don't then I hang out everything is up for discussion everything is up for sensible debate I would debate anybody sensibly all right so uh, yes, I quit. Wash my hands. That's it. That's a wrap. I'm done. I can now focus on online mechanic tips, guys. So that's all I have, man. Uh, I got some more work to do. Uh, that's not me back there. I don't know what y'all see behind me. Okay, it's a white something over there. I don't know what that is, but y'all know how I do it at the end of the day, guys. I get you all uh, typical day in the shop video, so I see what I can gather up today. That's all I have. Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all on the next video. Yo.